Okay, <clears throat> this is the uh, December 26th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. We're being taped tonight by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later on by residents and the public. Okay, first item on the agenda, uh, we have minutes for December 11th. Uh, do you have a chance to look at the yes, minutes? Yes, they look good. Yeah, good. they look good. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for December 11th. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, next we have um, minutes for the executive session of December 11th. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve those minutes. Second. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we have three warrants tonight. We have a vendor warrant for $455,210, a payroll warrant for $105,588, and a payroll deduction warrant of $27,570. I'll make a motion that we uh, accept those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, meetings attended by select board members. Quiet week. Quiet week. I'm Maybe just gonna, don't. Mm -hmm. just going to check my calendar here to make sure because it, it has been a quiet period. There's no citizens here, so I don't see any citizens' concerns. Uh, next item on the agenda, we have an annual town meeting warrant and for review and discussion. Um, what I think we should do, um, Tom has given us a schedule that will be a weekly schedule from here on out for select board meetings to uh, go over budget items and warrant articles for the annual town meeting warrant. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll take we'll take this home, we'll review it, and at our next meeting mm -hmm. uh, we can discuss the sure, articles yeah. in, in in detail. Even right. though the the warrant is not open yet. Tom okay. wanted me to relay the message about the warrant that when you're looking at it, it's got every possible thing that he could think of that might come up. Right. But that there's so a lot of stuff that's in there now that will be eliminated. Will be eliminated. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing yep. I didn't see here, and maybe it's maybe he's got it buried somewhere. The payment for the fire truck again. I'll just I'll just stop. I'll mark again. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's. We forgot it last year. It's not going to be in in uh, operating, right? No, probably not. It's yeah. Well, it should have. But I don't know how that works. Yeah, no, that'll that'll yeah. be in, in in the other ones, right? Yeah, in, in depth maybe it's in just didn't see it. Yeah. All right, so we'll review this and we can discuss it uh, more at our next meeting on January the eighth. All right. Next items of business we have business license renewals. Uh, the first one on the agenda is. Wesco. It's just a single page for them. Yeah, we have um, okay a license a used car dealer's license class two to buy and sell secondhand motor vehicles. This is for Wesco. This is for Wesco. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at Route 116 in Conway. This is something that we. We do every year. I'll make a motion that we approve the um, application of a Wesco for the renewal of a used car dealer's license class two to buy and sell secondhand motor vehicles. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, the next item is. Okay, we have two, we have a uh, used car dealer's license class 2 to buy and sell secondhand motor vehicles, uh, application by Everett Veit, doing business as Veit's Garage, 
on Orchard Street and Ashfield Road. Um, and we also have a application for a permit for used car dealer's license, third class, to buy and sell secondhand parts of motor vehicles. So it's not only a sale, <coughs> excuse me, of motor vehicles, secondhand motor vehicles, but also secondhand parts of motor vehicles. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a license that comes up every year. Uh, we know Mr. Veit's garage. Yep. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve uh, both of these uh, applications. Do I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Okay, we have an application um, from John and Jan Meggs doing business as J and J Meggs uh, to Old Cricket Hill Road in Conway um, to grant a permit for buying and selling antiques. Um, and uh, I've noticed their their barn is going up very, very nicely, nicely. Yes, and it, it looks looks great. So I'm very happy to see that they're. Applying for a license so license, that they can yeah, continue. Back, that's right. Absolutely. I'll make a motion that we approve this license for J and J Mags at Two Old Cricket Hill Road in Conway. To have second, all in favor. Right. Aye. Aye. Okay. The next one we have. Okay. This is for um, Ms. Helen Baker, doing business as uh, Baker's Country Store and Luncheonette, uh, Route 116 in Conway, for a common Vicular's license. Vicular's license. Uh, we also have an application from Mr. Robert Baker and Ms. Helen Baker, doing business as Baker's Country Store. Um, for a permit to sell diesel, gasoline, and oil products. Uh, then we have an application from Mr. Robert Baker and Ms. Helen Baker doing business as Baker's Country Store and uh, Luncheonette for a packaged goods store. Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve these licenses. Do I have a second? Wait a second. Second it. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm putting my own license or not. Yeah. Well, I, I think, matter of necessity, since we're the only yes. two here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Aside, it's a long standing business in town of um, very good repute. Right. So we should renew those licenses. I'm going to sign him? Yep, so, go ahead. Oh, it's not going to be official because Bob's away, right? Yeah. But he's down Florida or something. I haven't heard his whereabouts. Probably down in Florida or something. I thought I just moved on here, according to her brother. Okay, next item on the agenda. <laughs> um, okay, we had. Uh, we had voted this for Tom last time. I'm just going to sign this for him to be a voting delegate designation uh, at the uh, at Maya. Maya at the Maya yeah. meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next okay. item on the agenda is um, warrant article closeout votes for pipeline related. Now, I have some forms here, um, and we can go through them one at a time yeah. um, in case you have any questions about them. So the first one, 5840, um, that was voted on May 11th of 2015, mm -hmm. $20,000 for pipeline-related activities. Um, because the project was canceled, there's 9750 remaining. And so that one 
right. is the first one should be the first one in the stack there. Okay, uh, well, the first come one come back is... into the into free cash. Right. Okay. And the next one, fifty eight forty five, was Article twenty on town meeting warrant May 9th of two thousand sixteen. And that was for $19,400 for well water and air quality baseline right. uh, testing. And same deal, project got canceled, so that money can come back. How much money is left in the account? Um, that was the entire amount, $19,400. Yeah. Right. It must be this one. It's, it's, the, one. Yeah, it's um, the number, the... Yeah, it's no. fifty-eight forty-five. Is the number on the bottom of the um, on the sheet? Is there one that says fifty-eight forty-five? There should be uh, in that pile. Uh, I've got fifty-eight forty, yeah. fifty-eight sixty. Yeah, it should be the next one after that. Fifty-eight forty-five. Yeah. Okay. And All then right. fifty-eight sixty. That was um, also May 9th, 2016. That was voted $5,000 for granting legal fine funds to the town of Montague, and that none of that got spent. Right, yeah, okay. So that's all the Warren article closeouts. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we started with 5840, and then we went to 5845. Yeah. 5860. 58, 60. And what is 710? Okay, so now school we're in the special revenue account closeouts. Okay, that's for school, school roof. The school roof. Okay. Um, the project was completed as of June 30th of 2017. So there's 29.52 remaining okay. mm -hmm. um, okay. in that account that can be closed out. Okay. okay. Okay, now do we have anything for 279 road machinery? Um, there. 17 cents? 17 cents. So uh, this apparently hasn't been used unless, Thompson, you might have some knowledge about what this account yeah. used to be used for. Yeah. Um, but as far as he was concerned, he didn't think there was any reason to keep the account open. But if you. Well, think stay, we used to. Chapter 90, I always used to, when I was high school I used to reimburse us for the use of our equipment. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I had heard that about the time I was really retired that they were, state was saying they were thinking of wanting to do away with it. But it bought a lot of money into us. And then we could turn around, it went into a special account, and mm -hmm. then the select mode could vote, or the town meeting could vote, mm -hmm. to spend the money to buy equipment with it. Mm -hmm. What's your recommendation on keeping that account open? I think, I mean, I, I, I guess we've got to find out what's legal or not anymore. Because it was back when I got through four, three or four years ago, it was grumbling that they were going to try to stop it. Because mm -hmm. it was a big nightmare for the state to keep track of it. So okay. we need to find out if it's still in existence or not. Well, yeah, we, we still have 17 cents in it. Yeah, but yeah. Um, over there, we're not putting any more money back in there. Yeah. Um, Tom said that his he asked the accountant if he had any problem with closing mm -hmm. that account, and he said he didn't have an objection to it, but that he might want to look into it a little further. So what Tom was suggesting is that if the select board could sort of give your um, approval to close that account um, um, contingent on there being some reason discovered down the line that we have to keep it open. Um, I'd like to hear what Matt Howard's going to say about it. Before yeah, why don't, why, don't we, why don't we table that for okay. right now? Ask Tom to call Mass Highway about it. Mass Highway. District 1. Okay. We'll table that for now, just in case. Uh, and yeah, he wasn't, Tom right. wasn't really sure if there was any okay. reason to Yeah, let, let's, keep you, that you know, open. it's got 17 cents yeah. in there, whether we close it now or not, right. it's not, not right. consequential. Right. So, 291, that's, that has to do with what they did out here right for Here, us, I think, right? Right after yes, I read Yes, right. And we still have part of a grant from them that wasn't spent. Right. Okay. Right. 
And that was another one that I asked Tom about. Um, he didn't have any uh, more detailed information about that, but seemed to feel that we need to we need to have Tom investigate that further too. Because if I mm. remember correctly, mm. we were we were given a, a total allotment of money, mm -hmm. but we weren't given. We had to submit bills to get our money back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if there's four thousand dollars left in the account, we ain't getting more bills to put in. No, right. and and supposedly what they did out there was temporary. Right. It was supposed to come back and do something else. Right. Mm -hmm. But I think it's gonna gonna stay right where it is. Yeah. It looks so, hasn't moved. So that's so a let, good thing. Yeah. Table that. Let's let's um, do a little more investigating mm -hmm. of that. That one. He's the rest. One. The rest of these are fine. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we approve. Uh, close out votes for 5840, 5845, 5860, and 710. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Do it. Request approved. There we go. Date of vote is uh, 1226 <laughs> That'll pull more money, Mike, in the free cash, huh? Oh, yeah. item on the agenda we have a letter from Comcast requesting a facilitation of a meeting with residents interested in obtaining service okay why don't we have Tom put this on the website and also, um, let's get get some word out to. Um, Didn't they when they just opened up, uh, turned on, or got ready to turn on Whitley Road and Crooked Hill and that? I was, I was told that people that represented them right out to each household and met with people. Did they? Yeah. I wonder why they're not doing that. Then again, no. Maybe too many people or something that anyway. Maybe. Could be. But essentially, uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I think. Um, I think. Bob Armstrong has names of all those people that are due to have service, mm -hmm. so maybe we can get some word out to them somehow yeah. of this meeting. Okay, items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. I don't see any. Um, town Administrator update. Tom is under the weather tonight, so um, Tom is not here for the update. Do we have any concerns of the select? No. No concerns. This is a, this is good. Yeah. Mail. Okay, mail. We we got a very nice Christmas card from our representative Steve Kulik. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Um, we also got a very nice um, donation from Ed Larue. Yep. Um, donation to the town of Conway for five hundred dollars. And that's going to be divided among the flag fund, the ambulance fund, the police department fund, and the fire department fund. Yep. That's very nice. Thank that you, Ed. Yes, thank very you. nice. We have a letter from uh, Eversource uh, talking about the integrated vegetation management program along their transmission right of way in the northern part of town. You know about that. 
Business to come before the board. And I know. Very Not that I know of either. Okay, our next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, January 2nd. That's a week from tonight yep. at 6 p.m. Um, there's no more business to come before the board. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Have a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.